Cooched Range Model KRD486FLPK Repairs Cooched Professional Series 48-inch Freestanding Dual Fuel Range with Liquid Propane, 6 Sealed Burners, Double Ovens, 6.7 Cubic Feet Total Oven Capacity, Griddle, Convection Oven, Continuous Gra. Repairs For the home, kitchen and beyond, Cooched manufactures appliances that homeowners have come to trust. Even a trustworthy appliance requires occasional maintenance or repair, however. If you're in need of cooched appliance repair from experienced professionals, your local appliance helper can help. The gas burner won't light. If you have a gas stove, you can light the range burners with a match if the electric ignition isn't working. However, if the burners won't light, and it's not the result of an obvious problem like a power outage, you should troubleshoot it. 1. Lift off the burner grate, burner cap and burner base. 2. Clean any food debris out of the burner with a toothpick or some compressed air. 3. Clean the grate, cap and case while you're at it. 4. Check the wires connecting the igniter to the control module. If there's a loose connection here, tighten it. 5. Burner still won't light? You may need to replace the igniter. There could also be another problem, like a kink in the gas line. The range burner won't heat. If you have an electric stove, your range burners need electricity in order to heat up. Sometimes, these burners go bad and need to be replaced. If one of your electric burners won't heat up, follow these steps. 1. Switch out the faulty burner with one that you know works. Simply unplug it from the burner socket and plug the working one in. 2. If the working burner heats up, the problem is your burner. Replace it. 3. If the working burner doesn't heat up, the problem is either the infinite switch or the socket. Does the socket look burned or damaged? You may need to replace it. 4. Test the burner again. If it still doesn't work, test and replace the infinite switch. The oven won't heat. An oven that won't heat is usually the result of a faulty igniter for a gas oven or heating element for an electric oven. If both your gas oven and your gas burners have stopped working, the problem is most likely with the gas line and will require professional repair. However, you may be able to replace the heating element or igniter yourself. 1. Use a screwdriver to remove the old igniter or heating element. Heating elements are usually located inside the oven, while you can access an igniter from underneath. 2. To get to your igniter, remove the broiler or storage drawer. 3. Make sure to turn off the power to your oven before servicing it. 4. If your heating element is of the hidden variety, you may need to call a repairman to replace it for you. The oven won't heat to the right temperature. This could be a problem with the temperature sensor, the gas igniter, or the heating element. 1. Check the temperature sensor. It shouldn't be touching the inside wall of the oven. 2. Use an ohmmeter to make sure the sensor is functional. The resistance should rise as the temperature of the oven increases. 3. If the sensor isn't working, replace it. 4. Verify that the heating element or gas igniter is working, and replace it if not. 5. If everything's been checked or replaced, recalibrate the oven. 6. Heat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Check the temperature inside the oven with an oven thermometer after 20 minutes and every 20 minutes thereafter for the next 90 minutes to 2 hours. 7. Add up the sum of the temperature readings and divide by the number of readings you took to get the average temperature of the oven. 8. Adjust the oven's temperature dial accordingly. The oven door won't shut. An oven that won't shut isn't safe for use. Follow these steps to fix it. 1. Unplug the oven and turn off the gas, if it's a gas model. 2. Pull straight up and out on the door to remove it from the oven. If it won't pull up, look to unscrew any screws holding the hinges in place inside the oven. 3. 
Check the hinges. Replace them if necessary. 4. Check for broken door springs. Slide out the bottom drawer and look under the oven to see the door springs. 5. Remove any broken springs with pliers. The ends should be wrapped around two bolts. Replace them, Ru wrapping the ends of the new springs around the bolts. 6. Replace the silicone or rubber gasket around the door. 7. If the oven door still won't shut, the door sensor may need to be replaced. 